All right, so you can see that uh, there is a model, Model 2 here, and it is already built. Well, plans kind of changed, and I ended up just kind of um, getting rolling on it, like, a few days ago, and, uh, well, now it's done, so it's like 4 a.m. on a set, uh, Sunday morning, and uh, I'm ready to show it off. Um, I won't test run it yet, just because, well, it's 4 a.m., and it's pretty loud. Even though I live in my own house, um, you know, my neighbors can hear my drums. I'll just say that. They can definitely hear this. Anyway, so, uh, I wish this camera didn't zoom in so far. There we go. So, um, I ended up going with just a old filament spool for the base. I have, like, 20 of those things, and I don't know what to do with them. And I figured it might make a, a nice base for it. It's, you know, heavy enough, and... You know, I just drilled a, a big hole through it um, for my lead, and wire goes through there, and just drilled these holes and screwed it right to it, you know, with a, some screws, like number 10 screws, I think they are, machine screws. And, uh, you got your legs, and then you got your motor base. There's the motor. This is just some, I think, 16-gauge speaker wire. I just have it. I just had it laying around, and... I have one of these plugs, so I just went ahead and did that. I, I've been finding that these are kind of what I prefer to use anyway. They, uh, they're they plenty of, they're plenty beefy enough for this amount of power. And what's nice is like if this like moves around, it, you know, it doesn't pull the wire, it'll just unplug it. So anyway, you know, I like could also, if it falls or something like that, you know, it, it, it vibrates a little bit. It's just the way it is. It's nearly impossible to get this thing perfectly balanced, but I think I got it pretty good. And I might even revisit it when I'm ready to to run it. You know, like if I go to sell it too, I will do that. Um, I know that just in case, um, I know that somebody's going to ask. So I don't really have any plans on selling this one, at least not yet. Um, I like to hang on to this kind of stuff for a while at least because right now I don't have any other models that are actually done done. This is the first one I've built and actually completed in quite a while. So I'm going to hang on to it for now. And uh, as I've mentioned in previous videos, I will not give up the files for it. And it's mostly for legal reasons. Um, you know, it's you know copyrighted by Federal Signal. And as far as I'm concerned, if I'm not make if I'm not making any money off of it, then they can't be mad about it. So uh, just to be safe, um, I'm not giving up any files for it. Um, you know, there's stuff like that. I've mentioned in comments before, but I get comments on every single video. So I just wanted to get that across, that point across. Um, back to the, the actual siren, because that's what the video is about. Um, ended up going together pretty good. Um, I uh, can make another video explaining some of the hardware I use, because... Besides like these M3 and M4 screws and then these number 10 screws, there's really not much. It's just, um, you'll want to find a motor that's got a like a 2.3 millimeter shaft. It, it, that's about the size I would go with. That's what I like to use for these. I just got a motor that I go back on Amazon and find it and just buy it every time. And uh, it's got bronze bushings instead of ball bearings, but it works fine. And I use an aluminum shaft coupler that's 25 millimeters long. And it has two set screws on each end, and it works perfectly for these. And uh, I just make the chopper press fit onto it. It works perfectly fine. And I can take it off later, too, you know. Um, I got a 608 uh, double-sealed bearing on the top. There's some aluminum foil in there just to shim it a little bit, just because it had a little bit of movement. And uh, you, can see, you can see a chopper down in there. The lighting is pretty terrible in my kitchen here, but, um, you know, you can see it. You know, it, it's legit, you know, it actually, it, it works and everything. The housing is um, kind of, a, it was kind of a mess, um, only because the way I had to make it, you can see there's two seams inside there. They're lined up pretty good, but you still got to kind of, um, like, especially when it gets to this point, you got to really coax that thing on there. Um, just, you know, slam it home and it, it works fine. I mean, it's not going to break or anything. And, you know, the, there's a lot of structure up in this top cone. As long as you're not grabbing it by the sides, I mean, it's not a big deal. So it's basically this bottom section up to here where you see the seam. That cone gets glued to that. And then same with here and here. And then there's this section, and then this is glued on. 
And you can kind of see when I showed you guys before, there's like a ring that's up in there. It's, you can see it right through there, actually. And it's got the part that connects it to the, the cone. And the, so, like, that's glued to this, and then the whole thing is glued together. And it's all just regular super glue. It's not really that critical, but it's better than hot glue. You know, hot glue would literally just come apart. So, anyway, so that's pretty much the rundown of this thing. I think it turned out pretty nice. I need to put a little hook eye on the top, you know, like a real one. But anyway, so um, the next one, I'll probably go back to the 3T22. I don't even know if I made a video on that, but I uh, plan to get that back to that pretty soon. And uh, this one will go up on the shelf for the time being. So anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, leave any comments if you'd like.